Hello everyone, welcome back to the stream. I'm playing Crossfire X today. Sponsored by Crossfire X, a free-to-play tactical shooter that's just had a big update. The Babylon update. That's why they're sponsoring this gameplay, to show you that update. And maybe you'll want to play. Like I said, it is free to play, so if you have it downloaded or want to download it and join in, play some matches, that's okay. I'm really excited to see the, uh, they have a new 15 on 15 map that looks like a good time. Yes. Must play on Babylon. I think you can just do it through here. Yeah, I might need to... I don't know if you can... I think you could just do this. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Didn't Remedy make the campaign of this? They did. When is this coming to PC? I don't know. I mean, it's on P... The original Crossfire has been on PC in other regions, but it is a Xbox console exclusive. Which is interesting. Oh, yeah. No, the, it's not the, not the board game. Excuse me. It's not the board game Crossfire. state of plum occupy arenas and use supplies to eliminate as many enemies oh yeah there's mechs and helicopters i haven't played this mode yet so i'm excited to get caught up in the cause fire a tarantula device what captured uh, oh man there's a spider bot oh come on all right well all right new goal of the stream uh to stomp around in a spider bot this is a Battlefield 2142 sequel you've been waiting for. It is kind of going for that. It is like near future tactical ops commando techno force uh, secret military shit. I like it. Uh, the, the campaign I actually liked. The campaign is like, it's campy, it's throwback, it's, it's simple. You know? Look at all these games with all these features. I haven't messed with my loadout at all. So, uh, it's also been a minute since I've played Crossfire. Oh, yeah, they, they actually added on a ton of uh, control options and stuff. You can, like, oh, yeah, I got to do the lobby squats. You can customize your dead aim, customize your acceleration. Or, sorry, your dead zone, not your dead. Oh, somebody's already in the Stompy Bot? Oh. I want to, okay, let's get near the Stompy Bot. That's where we need to go. A lot of explosions up there, eh? Maybe, maybe I'll go around the Stompy Bot a little bit. Flank the st Stompy Bot. All right. Ow! Ow! I think somebody was just trying to stab me. Oh! Yeah, there he was. Ah! God damn it! I gotta turn the, uh, I gotta turn the uh, sensitivity way up. I think I turned it all ton down last time I played because I was I was really trying to dial in my uh, controller aim, which I'm still not the best at. This looks pretty legit. I actually had a, a ton of fun with Crossfire before, though admittedly it was a much more retro style of fun. It it really did feel to me like just random and weird. Oh, uh, Counter Strike lobbies here and there. Oh. Okay. We got snipers. Yeah, I'm not gonna go up that way. Okay, I can see the where the robots spawn on the mini map now. It just goes. I should, shouldn't just go camp one, right? That would be bad. That'd be bad. Oh no, the spider pot. No, they're gonna get it. Oh, there's there's a whole mech there now. Oh, yeah. I have got to turn that sensitivity all the way up. It actually kind of freaks me out when the sensitivity changes. It's 
a little better. Oh, hell yeah. Actually, probably went more on the horizontal. We're securing Bravo. Dear. Oh no. Throw a grenade. Enemy is on Charlie. That feels good. Have Bravo. Playing on controller? Yeah. Because this is a, uh, a console exclusive. A sponsored console exclusive. But yeah. I'll, I'll admit it. Like, controller's not my preferred input, especially when it comes to a shooter. But I feel like it's... Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> I feel like it's important to develop. Shit, he's got me. The jump shot is still, uh, still viable. Shit. I wasn't expecting a map this open in a free-to-play shooter. Yeah, this is, this is a mode that they've added. Uh, this is the Babylon mode. 15 on 15. Kind of constrained warfare. Let's get it, bro. Let's get in there. Oh. That's some some classic battlefield, where the the vehicles just kind of spawn on the map and you got to be there for it. Oh, I wonder if I can get to uh, get to the tarantula. I don't know if these lanes cross over. What are these green nodes on the map? Oh, it's ammo. Got it. I should have I should have si seized up my shot a little a little better. I just started spraying. Got damage and no kills. Helicopter, though. Helicopter! Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro! Alright, let's, let's mess it up. Let's get, let's get mean. the hell? Haha! <laughs> right at the end, man. That's nice. I could have done a lot more there if I had my eyes open. Hmm. That means we can back cap A, actually. Yeah, shoot at me more. Hey, escape. I can just get out? Was it gonna drop me here, or is it gonna warp me back to base? Ah. Okay. Well, that was a rush. Shit. Oh, someone else got it. Nice. Wait, it's just an empty helicopter? Damn it! Oh no, I could be in there right now! Oh! I'm getting sniped at. <laughs> How sad. Empty helicopter's coming back. Okay. Yeah, I've got a. So that's interesting. The like vertical sensitivity being low means it automatically clicks it into like low sensitivity. Once I start. Yeah, it needs to be it's so strange. <laughs> Ever, dude. Oh, all I want to do is customize my controls. Mission fail. Uh huh. I don't care. Risk win. I don't care. Ah. <laughs> ah, the USS Butt Stallion rides again. Got that double XP though. 
Yeah, this is pretty cool so far. Uh, it's it's just astounding to me that an experience like this is free to play. All I got to do is hit the buttons, and you get to play like a really good wacky shooter like this. Scoreboard's really throwing it at you. Now yeah, there's a lot of info there, huh? I want to keep doing, man. I want to keep learning that. That was a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool map. Oh, this game has uh, has battle passes. Yes. Sorry. Here, let me let me show you. There are multiple battle passes. Uh, but yeah, this is this is how they do unlocks. There's also like a store where they'll rotate things in and out. So if there's something specific you want to buy or you're tempted by skins or something like that. And then there's like there's this thing which is on a on a roulette. So just random things kind of show up here. You number one in global leaderboards yet? Oh yeah, oh yeah. After that one match, I mean. I got those three kills at one time. <laughs> That's all it takes, right? That's about where skill caps out. Three kills. I was kind of surprised, I'm going to be honest. I was a little surprised that all the players weren't just crowded around every single thing as soon as it spawns. Maybe that's the benefit of having like more, uh, maybe doing like 15 on 15 instead of like 50 on 50? Only the party leader can start the game, you say. Hmm. Now that's an interesting thing to say. Here, let's just, let's, let's just scrub it. Let's turn it off and on again. I have a 100% win rate in Smash 3DS competitive. I played one match and won. Nice. Nice, Thornius. Who's your main? What character do you have a 100% win rate with? Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what game gave me an uneven achievement now. Who did it? Was it Kirby? Oh, bright memory, that's right. Yeah. Got to get back in there and even it out. I'm trying to think of who I'd be in this image. I think I'd be in the helicopter. Or maybe the, the dude on the right over there. Who's like got his su hand supportively on the back of someone else. There's mechs? Yeah. The le so there's, in the last map, there were these, there were the bipedal mechs that you could jump in and stomp around on. And then you see in the upper left here, there's that giant spider mech. There's like a, a spider mech that's sort of sitting off to the side of the map that you can climb into and control as well. But you have to like capture and hold a point for that, uh, which my team was not successful in doing. I got to fly in the helicopter. That was cool. Chef Crime, you're you're the war photographer. Oh, you're behind the camera. That's a pretty good place to be. since this is a sponsored gameplay might as well bring up the Babylon map the one I was just playing on the biggest map in Crossfire franchise history it's a massive 15v15 battlefield with three points to be captured I like how there's kind of three lanes too it is sort of like like Battlefield MOBA uh, you'll be able to pilot mechs use helicopter turrets and even call upon airstrikes I haven't done the airstrike yet
Do you need an Xbox Live for this game? That's a great question. I'll, let, me, let, me, let me Google that up. Okay. According to ProGameGuides.com, you don't need Xbox Live Gold to play. Oh, but then GamePer.com says that you do need it if it's out of beta. Jinx.tv says you don't need Xbox Live. Okay. The Microsoft page for the Crossfire X Ultimate Package says online multiplayer on Xbox it requires Xbox Live Gold. So, I think so. Hey, what's up, Samurai Spartan? Oh, that's a bummer. I really wanted to play this mode. I mean, there's the submarine map, too. They added, like, they added a lot of new maps with this update. Gwindlebled, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Oh, F Breaker. Yeah, my my academic list of games. Let me see here. Oh, Caveman. Thanks for gifting out five more subs. Uh, yeah, I've been putting to get well. So this is specific for me of games that I feel like I have to play or should play because of their artistic value that I haven't played yet. And I was hoping by the time I'd said that I would find my note where I have them written down. I'm wondering where it I'm wondering where they are. All right. I don't know where my list is. Uh, but let's see. Let me see if I can just remember. All right now it's uh Disco Elysium is probably top top point. I'm blanking on what else was in there. Mega Man Legends. Oh, um, Divinity Original Sin 2. Was it not? Oh, here. Wait. Yeah, here we go. go All go, right. Go. Actually, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance was on there, but I can strike that now. Uh, Dragon's Dogma, also on there. I haven't finished Dragon's Dogma. That's not okay. Helicopter. Let's see if I can make it. Oh no. A mantle. Oh. Oh. Just let me take the helicopter. Good man's. Uh oh, the next shooting at me. Oh, wow, okay. You know what? It stands to reason that a mech can do that. Oh, I'm on the other side now. Okay. So wait, is the helicopter still up? I am just got shot out of it? Yeah, I guess so. Losing A. Losing A. Throwing 
frag. Oh shit. Wait, what? Oh, it's up there. Damn. I don't know if there's a way for like a normal meat and potatoes human to deal with a bipedal mech. Sure, she's gonna try to capture the spider. Ah! Ah! Almost got him. You need to. Like aim response curves and stuff. Oh no, they're gonna no, don't let him get spider back! Enemy is on Bravo. Ah, ah shoot, there it is. Oh, but I can get in this guy. That doesn't close the door without opening a window. Oh! There we go. Angel is bombarding us. Oh, did it go back to sleep? Okay. Enemies have Bravo. We're securing B. I'm gonna go help capture B. I died. My gun shut off. Okay, so, hmm. Those are actually pretty, pretty, uh, squishy. I guess you have to, probably have to equip a rocket launcher or something. Hmm. Is crazy low. Huh. Watch it, grenade! Oh! <laughs> I vaulted that toilet. Oh. Somebody was going for the heli, I think. Where am I? Where's the helicopter? I hope we can do like we can both ride in it. Yeah, here it comes. Cause there's like it seems like there's room for multiple people in there. Come to Papa. What? Okay, now. <laughs> All right, one person gets to be in it. Got it. <laughs> oh man. Losing alpha. There's just immediately a man. Oh. A good shot.
shit scary. Ah, robot! Leave me other robot. Oh. Enemy is on alpha. I wonder if they have squishy parts you can just shoot. Are you a bad guy? What are you doing? Ow! Yeah, he's a bad guy. Yeah. Man. I'm getting a little torn up, huh? Don't bug me! <laughs> he came in with a wrench. Jesus. Ow! That was a good throw. Sheesh. Ah, I thought we were going to get the point so I could spawn forward. We it, there we go. Okay. I shouldn't draw attention to myself down here. Definitely have the wrong gun for this. Oh, the spider bot though. What if we got the impossible dream of a spider bot? Wouldn't that be cool? Uh. All right. Respawns real fast. I kind of like that. It's staying in the action. Ah! That's interesting. I did 110 damage. Hmm. Mission fail. There's armor or Black something. Lift win. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's uh, that feels right. Cool. Oops. Oh. I'll see you, Varshan. When's the next media share stream? It'll be next Wednesday. This the next Wednesday there is. This coming Wednesday. Look at that. I can get an Alpine strike. I need that win one time. Did you hear about this? One of the concept guys for Pacific Rim told a story how when they asked Del Toro how mechs of such size support their own weight under such movement, Del Toro responded with, they're made of bullshit tanium. I love it. Because mechs are cool, and why, why pick at it like that? This game 60? No, it's free. This is a free-to-play game, Javi. Free to download on Xbox. Xbox One, Xbox Series S, or Xbox Series X. Yeah, I'll be running Media Tech later, Caveman. And they're sponsoring this stream. Oh. We love them. I genuinely have a good time playing this game. This mode is, is fun, too. I really want to get in that spider tank. That that seems like like pinnacle. But I have to help my team maintain control, and I'm not good at that yet. Maybe I'll start poking around at some of the other rifles. I feel like in this map I'm doing a lot of pretty long distance engagements. Yeah, maybe it's time to find something with I can just drill out dudes further away. Yeah, I was excited about this map. 
I like... I like shooters that are a little more chaotic. And get in the spider tank? I mean, you, you certainly tell it where to shoot, I think. Maybe it just automatically bombards the map. You're looking for an M14 style rifle? Okay. I don't want to get out of the queue yet, but hopefully after the next match, I'll remember to uh, try and look for a better rifle. Yeah, I don't know, Lemongrass. I, have, I haven't captured the spider tank yet. I got to stomp around in a bipedal mech for a little bit. That was really cool. I know to be a lot more careful, though. They're a lot squishier than I would think. And out of all these conversations, I haven't even acknowledged that I've done very little to capture and hold points, which is what this is all about. One of those big old turrets, too. Be fun to sit in that. Yeah, it is a little MGS4, isn't it? Huh. Yeah, I like the maps. There's actually plenty of cover around. Uh, even though it feels like it feels like the range on my gun might be a little too a little too short. I've never felt like I'm just completely in the open. All of the uh, hallways and stuff have plenty of boxes and panels and things to hide behind to advance. Eyes up! I don't want any surprises. Breaking towards helicopter. Although the uh, the bipedal mechs can swat those, seem like they can swat those out of the air really fast with their nose cannon thing. Doesn't make matters. It makes matters a little bit worse that it like the first stop for the helicopter is like right over the mid, the mid lane, staring directly down at the first point. Annihilated. Double kill. I'm so powerful. survived a whole helicopter run. Oh, am I going to get to get in a tank? Oh, somebody abandoned it because it's on fire. Is there a way to repair? I should have taken the shot. I should have just gone for it. Oh, wait. Here, here we go. All right. They're going to get the tarantula again? Eh? Wait, 
wait. There. Oh no. Alright. Enemy is on A. Yeah, there's there's like a weak point in there. I think you can shoot its guts. Ants popping up. I want to go out there. It feels too exposed. Darn it, he is down there. I gotta pulse these guns a little more effectively, too. I'm not doing a good job here. I'm really not. Let's, let's back off a little bit. Toasty. I'm just going to leave it. A lot of open ground to cover. Uh, talked about life working as a programmer the other night. I don't know if I could do another year in banking consultancy. Do you think games industry QA engineer lead sounds interesting? Do you or your partner know much about it? QA engineer. Um, Stephanie knows a lot about QA. She worked in QA for years and years. I'm not sure what a QA engineer would be. I can tell you though that, that it's just kind of widely acknowledged that QA is sort of the... The stigma is that it's it's the point of entry, which also means it's the least skilled and most disposable workforce. So if that's the job that's being offered to you, it's probably because it's uh it's more it's identified more as like an entry level role. But uh, if you're okay with that and you're really ready to move on, oh, shit. ah! Would you rather be named Doug or Bug? Probably Doug. I'm looking to move into an industry I actually care for. Yeah, I think that that goes a long way towards job satisfaction. Um, sons of bitches, sons of bitches. Heads up! Throwing a grenade. Yeah, as far as the role, the role title and what it might entail, I wish I, I wish I had better uh, or more information for you. But I can attest to the value of, uh, of caring about what you work on. Probably should not have drawn his attention over here. Damn it! Hey! AK, huh? I felt like it was so fast. I need to get that spider! I want that spider so bad. I would ask Steph about it, but she's out of the house right now. She's seeing Apocalypse now. Yeah. Okay. So you capture the tarantula, and then it just it surfaces and shoots everything for you. Okay. So you can, like, push forward under the tarantula fire zones. Losing B. Enemy 
is on B. Ugh. Getting stomped around. Go back to get B. Losing A. Losing Charlie. Oh, they already cleaned it? Yeah, they did. Yeah, the good news is, though, that there's been more uh, consideration and discussion and visibility on QA as a practice lately. So I think conditions have been improving. At the very least, it's just not completely taken for granted that QA just Global risk win. gets thrown into a grinder. Cool. Endless victory. It's good to get all them points. I went positive that time. Reminds you of Fear 3. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Took your headphones off to get your girl some cookies. Quick summary of that last bit. Just that uh, perception is changing a little in the in the industry. There's more consideration and awareness. I think. Hmm. So there's been there's been discussion about QA work circumstances and things like that. So it's becoming more humane. Hopefully the job is getting a lot more stable. Did you say it was a contract? Because, yeah, QA contract can be very, like, project-based. So, I think if, if it is contract, you're also looking at, like, nine months from now, having to find more work like that. Hey, Zanza friends. Good to see you. All right, I think I'll just, let's just try some quick play. It looked like I already had other rifles and loadouts when I was, when I was in the, uh, maybe it's like specific to that mode. Yeah, eight new maps in this most recent update. A free to play game. Sweet new maps. Spider tank. These days, gaming is so good, you get spider tanks for free. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? What a deal. We've been into Warframe. Ah, I really... It, it feels like it's entirely my, my thing. Uh, but no, I've never really gotten into it. I guess I felt like Destiny is probably pretty close. Ah, uh, and I play that. Occasionally, I have I have bursts of hyperactivity in Destiny. Nacho Mom. I want to go to Nacho Mom. Hold on, brother. That's Nacho Mom. Oh, okay. All right, caveman. Yeah, a studio like Insomniac, if they're hiring for a role like that and it's full time, conditions are probably going to be quite a bit more uh, humane. Yeah, here we go. Try this. Get ready to do some hunting. All right, fellers, let's do it. Hey, Saint Swole, thank you for the sub. How's my Friday been going? It's been going awesome. Played some uh, new droid army earlier. Game Boy Advance Star Wars game. Now I'm playing Crossfire X. 
free to play tactical shooter on the Xbox console. And I am so extremely blessed because they are sponsoring this stream. Their gun shoots, where are they? Alright. Yeah, I got one shot. Got that old Counter-Strike feeling. Not knowing the map and just running around. Getting picked off. By some dude who's like... So got a piece of beef jerky hanging out his mouth. He's a pro. Where the hell? Got a shot on him. That felt good. Oh! Nope, that felt bad. <laughs> Got cross-fired? A little bit, yeah. Kinda cross- oh god. That was a- that was in the spawn. Hey, Envy. It's good to see you. Oh, behind. Right. <laughs> I'm so sure somebody was going to come down that direction. I keep hearing things. Headshot. Headshot. You nailed it. I'm here now. But my other teammates are... No, there's no way that should have worked. That should not have worked. Uh, it's not going to work again. I would love to flank, but I don't know how. Keeps running. <laughs> Shit, right here. I'm just hide here. Yeah, bad peak. Yeah, that was a bad peak. Fuck. Too fast. Oh, he's got me this time. Ah! Couldn't aim while ADSing. <laughs> Just keeps running down the hallway. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, spoke too soon. That's fine. He can have the hallway. He's earned it. Oh! Where the... This is a hot corner. Push, push, push! Ah, no. There was another one behind. I was kind of hoping they would be so distracted with me running up that all my homies could just, like, barrel, bear rush them, but... 
I thought they were there. But there was another man's. Well, if there's three, like, stacked up on this corner, then... Oh! Hello. Whoa! Can't turn! Alright. Can I pick up his gun? No. <laughs> Somehow got through them all. Squishy controller aim right there. Oh! A controller aim and nobody can turn fast enough if you zigzag while running at them. Yeah, I mean that was always like a like a COD and Halo strats. Oh, if you're just not like in front of somebody, then you get like a free quarter second to shoot at them. Because uh they gotta turn to look at you. Oh, So God bless those people who forget to look up. Go! Oh! Ha! <laughs> Clop clops. Clomp clomp of military boots. Well, you don't want to. Oh, you don't want all shooters to become cross platform because you miss out on console specific strats? Man. I think you can throw all those console specific strat strats in the dumpster. That's a little harsh, but. I think a lot of shooters for like the last ooh, last 15 years or so like they've they've all the g the game design has been about obscuring the fuzz of a controller input. It's just not a good kinetic device for shooters. But people can still get really damn good with a controller. Nice shot, you nailed it. You really like the limitations of a controller for FPS balance. Hmm. I think it does does change the does change the like weighting of strategy versus execution. I think when you're when you balance a game for controller, it makes it like 50-50. Whereas if you just have if you have godlike aim on a PC it changes things. Then the balance just has to be kind of baked into the mechanics. So it's like not just a bunch of hit scan weapons and you just click on the heads. But that gives that gives rise to its own mechanics. Uh like World War II shooters with like realistic damage modeling. It was it was mostly the inaccuracy of the guns that made them work, but once people got really good with sniping, it really was just stick a toe out of line and you're dead. So then it just became a paranoid game of like hustling from cover to cover, only using, you know, you have to use suppressive fire basically, or like some kind of distraction. Somebody just died there. They're covering that door hard. Every FPS game on PC is a battle of reflexes and aim every time. Eh, yeah, it can be. There's there's more going on in like um like a traditional game of Quake than that. Like you have to land your shots, but in say a game like Quake, it's about map control, it's about the armor and items that spawn. It's about forcing your opponent away from the armor and health that they want, cutting them off. Using the right gun at the right encounter length uh and accommodating for the amount of time it takes to switch guns. Um, 
ambushing enemies when they have the wrong gun out. But yeah. It's not as, uh... It's not as, like... S slower or more decision-based than something like Halo, where you can only carry two guns and, like, a handful of grenades. Please explain in as much harsh terms as possible for I, my amusement how you feel about Halo shooting. Uh, Halo is a great game for fuzzy controllers. Like, the, the reticle's a big old circle. All the bullets spray in, like, this big pattern. But, again, like, the combat in Halo is more about the type of gun you're using. Not really about if and if you can hit it, what you're shoot, what you're aiming at or not. Excuse me. Railgun only Quake Two, yeah. That's the uh, or just like Insta Gib Railgun stuff. Shoot Mania. That's what that game was all all about, pretty much. Yeah, loads of auto aim. A lot of randomness in introduced to, I think, just make make it less frustrating to try to play a shooter with a controller. And it was successful. But you know what's really cool? Now we have shooters like Crossfire that expose all of those things. Expose the auto-aim, expose the aim assists, expose the sensitivity settings, the dead zones, the, uh, the response curves. Like, it just puts it all in your hands. And I think that goes a long way towards dialing in a shooter to feeling really good and also just making shots feel earned. Feeling connected to the experience versus just, like, throwing ammo and praying that RNG puts the bullets on the enemy. Mission success. Blacklist win. Good job, Jonathan. Does this game have a gimmick or is it or something, or is it basically an arena FPS? Um, no gimmick, really. No, nah, it's just a uh, near future military shooter. It's free to play, which could could explain it. But yeah, I guess if you want there to be a gimmick. Uh, it does have a campaign made by Remedy, so it's got a big, kind of, big, loud, explosion-filled, near-future military campaign about tactical ops people going around to various areas and tactically, operationally shooting everything. It's pretty cool. It, it reminds me of, like, good PS2 shooter campaigns. Oh, there's somebody in my party. Cool. Who is that? Doesn't matter. Uh, the game also has a modern and a classic gameplay mode, which essentially is like Counter-Strike and Call of Duty. So this has sprint and aim down sights. Some modes have like kill streak style stuff. Classic is just straight up Counter-Strike. It's a uh, It's uh it's classic. Yeah, Carrot. It's uh it's free to play on Xbox console. It's an Xbox console exclusive, which is interesting. Yeah, it's a free download. If you want to check it out, um, since this is a sponsored stream, uh, please use the Crossfire X command. Tap on that, tap on that link. If you're curious, or just watch the stream. So that'll give you the information you're looking forward to. the tar oh, okay classic blue jays are getting destroyed tonight oh 
The only thing that can take away the sting of a sports loss is a nice cold beer. Damn, I want beer now. I could drink beer. Maybe I should drink beer. Hmm. I'll think about it. Maybe. It's been a busy week. Friday. Friday's beers day. Yeah, you gotta get down. Oh, I saw somebody on Reddit actually like triangulated based on the lyrics when Ice Cube's good day was. Like based on the clues in the song, it turns out there's like only one one Friday that could have been the good day. Uh, so that's exciting. I think it was like January something 1992. What's the start of your vacation today? Hell yeah! Oh, I didn't clean it out. Oh, my, oh I'm so sorry, my dude. I'm so sorry I didn't avenge you. Oh, I got double tapped. Damn. Was that you from chat, Wubbly? I don't know if you're around. Wubbly gave me the power squat when the mode started. I should not have... Man, that dude took us both. That sucks. I should have been way better than that. No, no. Edibles evening? Maybe. Maybe later. Uh, we, we are always professional, professionally sober, and ready to deliver a good quality stream for our sponsors. Huh. Tried picking up some Earthbound today. Took an edible to relax, and that was way too much for me at that point. Yeah, Earthbound is pretty intense. Uh, Earthbound can be a spiritual journey. I have some major to me gaming news, but I don't want to distract you from the sponsored segment. Should I wait? No, no, go ahead. I don't know. I mean, I don't... As long as it's not a direct competitor to the wonderfully developed and free-to-play Crossfire X. Yeah. I mean, you can just link it and I can check it out. I do like me some gaming news. You didn't realize that there was swimming? Oh, that was you. Okay. Awesome. Sound C4 at Alpha. Fail. Just Black aim to the devs. Player. They said the edible was cool as long as you took 30 of them. That's expensive. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little slower this time. Alright, Wubbly. Let's do it. Tactical ops bros. If I die, you gotta avenge me. Uh, I don't wanna go that way. Whoa! Joe! Somebody's just really posted up and shredding, huh? Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Worked. We are in for a paddling. There's a spiritual successor to Shadow Hearts and Wild Arms? Double Kickstarter for spiritual successors. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, the controller aim. I'm just bad at aim, at contr aim on controller. I'll admit it. I'm bad at it. Like exactly the time that shooters started to take off on console is when I dedicated myself to just playing shooters on PCs. So. Uh, we don't need the cheese out strats, Aragon. Oh, they're just gonna- they're gonna play in C4, so whatever. That's why it doesn't matter. Yeah, now, what are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? Oh! Someone's coming for you! Oh! What a fight! Mission fail. Blacklist win. Ah. <sighs> Shucks, we're getting railroaded, huh, boys? I'm gonna, I'm gonna run around the corner of the map. Cause that was, that was real scary. What happened last time? I don't need that happening in my life again. Getting like pinned down with a machine gun fire like that. Ha ha! Yeah, the C4. He was trying to hot plant. Okay, let's post up. We don't have to do anything. Ha ha ha! Damn it! Watch it, grenade! Headshot. No! Oh, 
I was so confident I could I could wipe both those guys. Ah, oh, at least I took one with me. Oh, the pedigree is real. It's the director of Silent Hill. The same composer is back. Yoshitaka Hirota. Oh, Shadow Hearts. SH, sorry. You did uh, Shadow Hearts 1 and 2 with Yatsunori Mitsuda. Even the OG character designers are back. And it's Gothic Horror 18 plus PS5 Gen only. Cool! Yeah? There's a... In addition to, like, just a bunch of general projects and independent studios getting greenlit, a lot of spiritual successors to, like... Really obscure Japanese series are starting to pop out. I mean, there's the Ayuden Chronicles. There was uh, the Tactics Ogres coming back. Um, yeah, kind of getting a little bit of everything. Bloodstained exists. It's really interesting. It feels like it feels like we are in the first turn of like creators making these hit franchises. Hit franchises are mined completely out, and then hit creators just leave and make a new thing uh, at a much lower budget. I feel like that happens with, like, entertainment properties in other places, too. It's just something gets big, it gets played out, the companies that make it collapse under their own weight. But the artists who made it are still talented and want to make new, new things, maybe at a smaller, more sustainable budget. They have to go independent or get funding elsewhere. And most of the... I feel like most of the Japanese Kickstarters do, do at least result in a game. Clump. The boot clumpity clumps. They're nice and nice and distinct. I like how the snow adds a lot of Ow! Nice, thank you. I like how the snow adds a lot of like peripheral motion. You can't just sort of stare down a hallway. I mean, you can. It's just us. Oh, it's two on two. Damn. Oh, yeah, the C4. Excellent. here than I thought. Oh yeah, Dead Space Spiritual Successor? Yeah, Callisto Protocol. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's what you do. Just twirl and start squeezing off rounds. Switch squad. All right. Well, we got a point on the board. That is right. Eyes up. I don't want any surprises. Those are moody little guitar strums. That was my teammate. I saw the dot. Oh! God. How was he? Wow. Huh. Other dude must not have gotten many shots on him. Hmm. We've got some pros. We have some swimmers. 
<laughs> hey, that's tactical warfare. That's just how it goes. Uh oh. What a combat! Got him. Tag him and bag him. Yeah, it's, it's a bummer. I feel like the economy of game making shifted away from games like Shadow Hearts for so long. But I think especially after 2020, uh, I think everyone's realizing that game, like, double-A games still sell a lot of money, too. Global risk win. Or just because you can't get, like, Farmville Zing Zynga money doesn't mean there's, like, there's still a lot of money to be made. And there's still an audience at multiple levels, and you can still do a lot of good business. There was just a window for, like, ten years. Where it was like, it was either an indie game, or it was going to try to make as much money as it possibly could. There was no in-between. Oh, no! Ah, oh, my scope was covering it up. I should have kept... I should have... I should have looked a little more thoroughly. Thanks for the very late night entertainment. Fred Fallout 76 and grinded in Warframe. Gonna sleep now. All right, Thornius. Thank you for watching. Always in the water. I love it. Ho! 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 New Shadow Hearts takes place in the 1920s. And the new main character transforms like Yuri, but instead of demons, you transform into gothic horror and Lovecraftian Knights of the Rounds. That's awesome! Also, didn't, um... That's roughly the time span of the other, of Shadow Hearts, right? Uh... Covenant took place in, like, what, the 1910s? Something like that? Is that a caffeine-free Coke Zero? No, it is a vanilla Coke Zero. Yeah, the new packaging, it's kind of interesting. Instead of just a color accent, it's just all the color. Mission fail. I don't mind Global it. Risk win. Looks like a Pantone. Well, that was challenging. Quick play. I'm gonna throw myself back in the back in the scrum. I played all of I played Kodelka and all the Shadow Hearts games. And yeah, Covenant was just such a really fun time. Unique combo system or unique combat system rather. Interesting characters, fun dialogue. I don't remember too much about the plot. Shadow Hearts 1 and 2 both took place in 1915. Okay. Like and there was like a Kodelka cameo in Shadow Hearts Covenant, like a hyper throwback. Your mom. Yeah, no, what not? I could have. You know, it's it's interesting. Being an adult, being an adult, an empowered, independent adult, is a series of delightful remembrances and then crushing realizations. So I just remembered that if I wanted to, I could drink beer and eat nachos tonight. It's like all the, I could just do that. I could play video games and eat nachos. But then I was like, darn it. No. I have to be healthy. My stupid body will break down and stop playing video games if I don't, if I only put nachos in it. Whoa, what a dodge! That dude had the, had the hot feet. We'd support a fatty Lawrence. I mean, I've been fatty before. Most of my most of my funhouse run was pretty fatty. 2019 was probably peak fatty Lawrence, I think. Or no, wait, Machinima Lawrence was pretty fatty Lawrence. Throwing grenade. He sprinted, man. He he darted like a rabbit. Nice. 
laptop, Lawrence? Actually, yeah, yeah. That might be... Well, not when I was at my absolute heaviest. I was like 270 when I was in college. But that's when I was like 230, which is probably like... Oh, wow! How do you get back there so fast? He just flew. Oh, nice shot. Oh! Helmet rolling down the ramp. I could gain that kind of weight. I want to be a mass monster, but my appetite and metabolism just doesn't allow it. it. Took me two years to gain 50 pounds, and that was trying to gain weight. Well, hey, at least you, at least you did. Um, don't worry about the, don't worry about the metabolism thing for too long. I feel like that's an enjoy it while you have it kind of situation, but I understand it can be frustrating if you're trying to gain weight. I was, I've never been cursed with a metabolism that'll just take care of anything I put in my body. Or maybe I'm just really good at eating. Yeah, I shouldn't. Oh, okay. There's a spawn turret there. That's good. I felt bad. I was starting to feel bad strafing into that. Oh, you're 28? Yeah. Yeah, that's about, that's about right. Time for the change. shot. This time on CFX. Oh, Crossfire. No, it's actually not. I've played it before, but I haven't played it since the new update. Which is what I'm checking out now. And yeah, it plays a lot, a lot smoother. New control options are fantastic. I really like that new Babylon map. Running around with two flaming SMGs was pretty cool. Though. <laughs> kind of miss that. Oh. oh. The only thing that's bothered you from aging is feeling your knees get sore while sitting down. Huh. I don't Oh, man. Almost got him. Oh, I got stomped into the ground. Ouch. Yeah, it seems like knees are just one of those things. They just go and then they're gone. And now you get to live life with shitty knees. Yeah. There's like a Louis C.K. bit about that. Double kill. Yeah, I, I want to say around like age 32 or so, my knees started crackling a lot when I when I squatted. Luckily, they still don't hurt, Headshot. but kill. they crackle sometimes. They pop. But it hasn't prevented me from, from doing anything, really. Shit. Shit. Uh, I'm dead. How did, sometimes I... How do you... I know cyber knees yet. Getting there, though. Some of the medical science progression about prosthetics is really uh, exciting. And who knows? Maybe in the next ten years you'll just be able to cram a syringe full of stem cells into your into your legs. Put the dial to a particular setting and grow a boob. That'd be cool. 
cramp syringe in your knee. Great shot, brother. Oh no! Oh, dealt with. If I'm rich, I'm gonna going to Germany and stuffing myself with stem stem cells. Hopefully, you shouldn't have to be rich. Let's go to 7-Eleven. Buy a little jello stem cell shooter. Suck it down in the parking lot. Yeah, the stem cell super big gulp. They come in vanilla. I got so lucky. Wow, everyone's real mad. Woo -hoo 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 Got me from behind. That was a good. That was a good wraparound, actually. Uh, when you were hunger, or you when you were younger, you were much heavier and chunkier because of your messed up metabolism, because of medications. That must be so strange. Trying to figure out your own body while it's under the influence of metabolism-altering substances. Body's just doing flips. Got hacked 69. I'll usually turn the music off because you want to hear the players. I'm not that pro yet, but I can understand that. I mean, there's no music for most of the match, so. You can hear the little stompy boots stomping around. Mission success. Blacklist win. When you become super pro, you turn music back on. That's what I've always felt. The real pro is playing with like all the settings maxed out. Sensitivity all the way high. I think there was a time when I believed that. That like playing on higher sensitivity meant you were better because you had more fine control. A lot of, I make a lot of weird assumptions about like the right way to play a game, I feel like. All right, I want to play this map again, Babylon. The yeah, FOV maxed, exactly. Controller has to have the most buttons. Yeah, the, the influence of medications on diet and and really maybe even like the the shape of a body downstream of what medications can do to like your your mental outlook the way that you interpret signals from your body like it's such a such a complicated cocktail that lead to the calories you take in and the way that your body stores them as fat but i don't know i've i've known people in my life that can be pretty superficial when it comes to like Thinking fondly of people who are in good shape and maybe judging those who aren't as like living unclean lifestyles or some idea that like having a beautiful body is representative of a, of a virtuous lifestyle. And it's just, it is just not that simple. Not at all. People don't have explicit control over the sculpt of their bodies for all kinds of complicated reasons. 
you never truly know. It's it's amazing sometimes. It's weird, like the shell that we're in is representative of who we are, but also isn't. It's it's impossible to separate the two, but also sometimes it has nothing to do with who you really are. I thought the pro controller stuff was a meme, but then I tried back paddles and I can't go back. Oh yeah. The ability to like jump and move and aim at the same time. Jump, move, aim, and shoot. All four of those. A um, bumper jumper kind of does allow you to do that, but even still, having like extra fingers to hit buttons, so good. True gamers use weighted mice. I wondered about that. The weight of my mice. Should I should add the paddles on my elite controller? Might as well try. I tried using them to play Overwatch. I tried I tried to get good at Overwatch on Xbox cuz Steph liked playing on Xbox and I really wanted to play that game with her but I just got so frustrated at my inability to like aim and multitask. If man, if that game had crossplay, it would have been legendary. But in the far flung distant past of 2015 or whenever that game came out, I was just not a thing yet. Yeah, pros want light mice, right? Light mice. Light, right? So you can sling them around real fast and hit those pro shots. Let's move! I don't like this gun. Oh, helicopter. Oh, someone's going for it. Who can navigate the geometry fast? You fools! Experience is mine! I've done this before. <laughs> nah, you have to go through the same process other look others go through. Hmm. I agree with that, Saint of Swole. I think that that fitness and health is an intensely personal journey, and that uh, everyone has to kind of figure out why they're doing it and what their goals are and how to achieve those based on who they are and how they interact with food. That's interesting. Last time it didn't feel like the helicopter could just drill me down that hard. Losing Bravo. Ah, dang, I should have spawned earlier. You know what really scares me? That HRT can cause permanent changes even if you later realize it's not the right path for you. I know who I am, but I thought I knew who I was for 43 years, so what the fuck do I know? Yeah, it's, uh... It's, it's a heavy decision to make. We're securing B. I feel like part of that too is maybe embracing that who you are can change as time goes on. I don't think any of us are the same people our entire lives. So maybe that's, well, the medical and health aspects notwithstanding. I feel like people should give themselves permission to change their minds more often. about life things. Darn it. Wanted to jump over there and give it that turret. Ah. That's a different way to get up there. Enemy is on A. Oh boy. Oh that was bad. Okay, so I really gotta Yeah, make sure that I'm I'm sighted up on somebody before I pull the iron sights. It was like a good strategy in general. <laughs> yeah, and I told you. I'm not super I'm not Alpha Pro on controller. What am I saying? Yes, I am. Enemy is on B. Really want to go get that mech. I want the spider tank first. All right. Is console only or just controller input? It is on console only. That is a con or a Xbox console exclusive. Crossfire X, that is. But it includes a campaign. Lovingly crafted by Remedy Entertainment. Same developers of Maximum Pain and Control. And Alan Wake. 
And the multiplayer is a pretty good time too. Bod's Cream. Nice name. Thank you for the resub. How was the campaign? I, l I had a good time with it. But all I don't know. I feel like I also can sometimes find, a fu find the fun in maybe m more simple games where other people kind of expect a, a more glitzy package. It's a, it's a really straightforward shooter. Uh, it's just about spectacle and, uh, and gritty military talk. So... Oh. Oh. Cool. Losing A. There was a time when that was enough for video games. Oh, Rage 2? Yeah. Yeah. Rage 2 was kind of a game like that. It reminds me back attack. It reminds me a lot of uh Double kill. Uh, black. We got a. Which most people speak of super reverently. I enjoyed. I didn't think it was like a transcendent shooter though. So that's kind of that's kind of where it's at. Like a big explosiony particle. F Whoa! I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's go get the tarantula. I think the mech's, mech pushed him? I think so. They were already pushed past the point. I really enjoyed a Joey game like Xenoblade 3. I'll get super analytical about it all, but outside of those rare cases, if I enjoy something, I enjoy it, whether it's super simple or complex. Grenade. Yeah, I guess I guess I'm thinking about that a lot recently in the in the context of the reaction to Saints Row. People took just offense to it. But I think that might be a bit of a more complicated. Game. Oh! Oh, think there might be some more. It fe it almost feels like the DMC thing all over again. Where it's like, instead of just appreciating that it's like a, a side thing, or it's a different thing, people get offended that it's not enough like the other thing, despite having like a different name, sort of. It doesn't really have a different name. It's got the same name. But yeah. Uh, so if you're the type to like, if if somebody puts a game on a plate and then they put it in front of you, and it doesn't have all the trappings of modern AAA, then maybe the campaign isn't won't satisfy you. <laughs> Dang. Okay, maybe I should just focus on trying to capture points. Oh yeah, whenever I've seen you or other people playing Saints Row, everyone had a blast. Yeah, that's that's been my impression too. I, okay, I should disclose they also sponsored me, so this is like big time shilling hours, but... Uh, yeah, it's just been a good time. Oh. oh okay, and the uh, helicopter. And the people who, who haven't had a good time just show up and just like, they look at what I see as normal gameplay and they're like, ah, soulless, empty. And I'm just like, it looks like a video game, man. I don't then again, I don't know. I felt, I felt somewhat similar sometimes with Cyberpunk. I'd be playing and going like, hooray, explosions and cool cyber music everywhere. Interesting conversations about transhumanism. And then somebody would just show up and be like, "Ugh, this game is is an empty trash void of nothingness." And you're, you're taking I just I don't see it with those eyes. Move out. Wow! I got frostied. Like Gritarian made the best kids games. Black is your impression of guns and military shit as a child. Same with Burnout and Cars. Just play things that look cool when blown up and destroyed. 
I mean, yeah, Criterion was very good about uh, getting that thing. Getting it. Oh, an enemy already took it. Yeah, there's already a guy in there. Uh, oh, you, you can see the little guy in there. Okay. Yeah, they were they were very good about making uh, technically technically sound games with like a really fun fundamental mechanic. Nope, there he is. Dude was still trying to snipe up there. Luckily, he was distracted. Wanna be just like me, Javi? I mean, I understand because I wanted to be like me too. So I get it. I get where you're coming from. Those guys go. We got Bravo. Man, enemy is on Alpha. I'm glad he turned around. Shit, brother. Okay, I guess that, uh... That little, like, money skull is a revenge kill or something. We have enemies on Bravo! People got to demo Tempest Rising at Gamescom? Ooh, I'll have to look that up. Captain Vibe. That's a really good name. 31 kills and 10 deaths. What a monster. Oh yeah, I love this screen where this dude's just discharging around directly into the ground. That's so rad. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick restroom break. I'll be right back. And th hey, thanks for joining my uh, my group, Wobbly. I appreciate that. Be right back. Hey. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's do another quick play. Let's see what's going on out there. Got time for a couple more rounds here. Okay, TDM. This is a pretty fun map. Like got just the right amount of side hallways, and they're also they're also like very easy to see. The flow is super deliberate. Also, Nacho Mom. It's very symmetric, I guess. It's not quite like dust. Eyes up! I don't want any surprises. Little bongos at the beginning. Danger. Came from the top right, huh? Heard that. Maybe they're under? Oh, I think there was a person there. Nice drop down, Wubby. Oh, 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 no, no! No! The ultimate tragedy. I got, like, hip sniped. This is, hold on. Oh, wait, that's a boss. 
Oh no. Thanks for softening him up. Got one of them. Does your specified taste in AV art have a subgenre? I just think of it as 90s Japanese sci-fi. Hmm. You mean the stuff that's in Media Tech? So, or sorry, Cinema Tech. Ooh, wait, Media Tech. There we <laughs> Don't sue me. Can't sue me, G4. Copyright, copyright. Anyway, ah. Uh, what is in there? Hmm. There's actually a few criteria that I use to judge if something's like worthy of including. Um, usually I try to have something that's either like ponderous, thought provoking, or spontaneous, maybe absurd. Either has like good music or weird music. Something that will either evoke a very. Oh! Oh! Hold on. That dude shut all the thoughts out my brain. Oh! Drop my gun. Look at me. Look at me. I'm a mess. I'm not going there again. No, no, no. Oh, aesthetic of PS2 intro screen. Distorted electronic music. The PS2, PS2 intro screen is a... Uh, definitely an aesthetic statement. Uh, I, that, I've actually loved Sony's boots because they're so uh, poetically ostentatious. That's kind of Sony in general. How weird for Sony to have such a weird and bold po like artistic soul through Sony Interactive Entertainment. Anyway, um, my aesthetic, uh, the, so the stream aesthetic is actually like Game Boy Advance aesthetic. And I chose that because I like it, but also because it's, I think it's like, it's kind of generational wraparound. It's like nostalgic, um, but it might be time to update that. I updated it in 2021. So that's, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe. Maybe I need to let it rock for another, another year or so. Y2K aesthetic might be a little, like it's a little too individualized and maybe still reads dated. But yeah, apart from, oh, apart from that, I would say technology is very much a part of artistic aesthetic that I like. That extends to music. Uh, it has a minigun. So music that has an electronic element, but that's all music now. Oh, jeez! Oh, I saw it. I saw it like a f fraction of a second. Digital Apocalypse describes PS2 aesthetic well, like the machines have already won. Huh, interesting. Hmm. Like of the, just of the, uh, the UI and the, the BIOS and stuff? This might be a little, a little literal, but I would guess like... No, I'm thinking PS3, never mind. PS3 is like Electronic Symphony. It's, it's Sony, the PS, it's like the, the Sony brand at its most unrestrained and most empowered, most validated, and also probably most pretentious, which is ironic because the PS3 generation was probably the most vapid, disposable, and uninteresting. The entire generation was about production value. It wasn't really about like, I guess Last of Us. Yeah, Last of Us is a pretty big art game. But that was, like, way at the end. Meanwhile, you have things like Infamous, which are just goofy. Goofy and silly. They've got, like, a meter. That's it. It's just it's just a PS2 game, but it has a good and evil meter. Nice. 
I'm so glad I didn't get sniped just then. His hat, his helmet flew off. Like it was spring loaded. What do you think the current PS5 era vibe is? It's kind of everything. Um, it's not as closed of an ecosystem, so it's not as curated of a of a vision. Uh oh, he's gonna sh snipe my ass so bad. Uh 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 uh. I'm not playing that. No. No. Yes. Yes. You can't snipe an idiot that's jumping around like a moron, can you? Strats. <laughs> Strats for days. Spring bullets everywhere. Oh! Tactical hip hops, that's right. Right. Early 7th gen was so experimental. You know... Okay. I, I actually have to roll everything I said back. Uh, what Sony did during that generation was actually pretty good because... I have to I have to consider all of the like smaller digital games they published, like Unfinished Swan and uh, Journey. So kind of in the in the wow four health. Oh, wait, did we kill each other? I think that was a double KO. What's, what's actually kind of sad is that Sony has stopped doing that. They've stopped publishing those kinds of games almost entirely. Which is a huge bummer. Um, they just they just stopped. I guess PSVR was the last platform that they published games like that on. And once VR slowed down. Maybe they're saving up a ton of just like quirky indie shit for VR too. But I was looking at their launch slate, and it's like they, they still launch games, but it's like it's all AAA and then remakes. Like remakes took the place of of the indie stuff they used to do. Probably because they sell better and they're not nearly so like unpredictable in terms of performance. I've wondered about that. Like somebody just has a formula based on the sales of the original game in the year it came out. How much money is a remake gonna earn? They just like hit the button. And then they launch the game and make the money. Remember the Order 1886? That game sucks. <laughs> I actually liked it. I liked it a lot. That's one of those spectacle games that is is easy to review poorly and easy to dismiss as a bad game by by the like all of the the rubric by the uh, semi-agreed-upon standards of what good games are. But I actually liked it a lot. And I thought it was a great showcase for the PS4. It was laggy, though. That's that's the thing that I was like, man. You know what game fucking owned Bones, though? Uh, Killzone Shadowfall. I didn't think Shadowfall- I didn't think Killzone was good. I didn't think Resistance Fall of Man was good. Most PS3 shooters I thought were, like, soupy and slow and dumb and self-serious, but Shadowfall was great! I got thinking about Shadowfall now! Had some, like, low-level open-world stuff in it. You could, like, zipline around these huge environments. It was, like, such a cool also statement of, like, PS4 power really early on. I, should, I guess I should play, uh, now that, now that PS5s can do 1440p, I think I should get through Ratchet and Clank. I should play Astro's Playroom, too. Yeah. Everyone liked Astro's Playroom. Everyone said it was good. Shins, baby. Killzone VR would be sick. I, yeah, I think so. Killzone is weird. Because it was just like... They just they just made a sci-fi shooter look like World War II. That was it. It was just A plus B. Because um, World War II shooters were hot. And sci-fi. I guess Halo. Wait, had Halo happened? Yeah, Halo had happened. So they were just like, World War II shooter good. Sci-fi shooter good. Shmoosh. And then you got yourself a game. 
So you're running through these like World War II trenches, but with a cyber gun. But that's it. Like that's all the creative vision existed. Um, but Shadowfall had a lot more going on, I thought. And it was like cyberpunk. And it was about like oppressive governments and shit. So I guess it was trading one trope for another. But it was a cooler trope. And uh, the gameplay was, was really good. Instead of just being these big chunky guns. I should play through Shadow. Uh, through Killzone again. Not Killzone, no. I should play through Resistance Fall of Man again. That game is... I remember that game being really pretty and just miserable to play. Like the hardest game with the... With some pretty cool guns, to be fair. They were pretty cool. I remember Resistance 3. Like the environments at the end of the game were just so awesome looking. Play Resistance, please. There's a lot of there's a lot of nostalgia for Resistance. Uh, which makes me think a stream of it might do well. And it's Insomniac, isn't it? I don't, I don't get how they made Resistance Fall of Man, to be honest. The technical makes sense to me. But the way that game plays is so different and so slow. Like, it just doesn't have the weird, like, energy and vibrance of movement and action that an Insomniac game typically does. And I think it would benefit from it is the weird thing. All I can figure is that, like, whatever rendering engine they had was so laggy, they had to, like... They had to wrap the game design around it. I don't know. Like how much post-processing was on each frame to make it look the way it did. Alright. I don't know what... Let's do this. I haven't done the submarine yet. Hello, Otter. Alright, yeah. Maybe I need to... Here. I'll write it in. I'll write it into my games to playlist. Existence is the only Insomniac game I've played. I watched my brother play parts of Ratchet and Clank and I was stunned by how creative it is. Yeah, those games are, are like non-stop vibrance in color. They, now, like, Ratchet and Clank's kind of like a perfect kids game. It's so, it's so colorful and springy and energetic. This isn't... You can't really hold it against it. It is just like... It's just like cotton candy. It's so bright and colorful and fluffy, and there's not really a whole lot of substance beyond that, but... That, you know, who cares? It's so good at being Flash that it's just a delight. Yeah, I, I Ratchet and Clank is another series I wanted to play play through. I played the first, or I played the HD, got the PS3 version of the first one. And I think I got like halfway through Going Commando, and I think it gets messier from there because there was a remake of the first one. Ah. I don't know how many games there would be total if you wanted to play, like, the main ones, or what that even means. Don't play the remake of the first, it sucks. How is that? How? How does it suck? If it... Does it just run bad? Or did they change a lot of stuff? More substance. Interesting. Wait till you play Astro, it's peak gaming. Yeah? Yeah. Well, they changed a lot. Interesting. Okay. Is it good as its own game? Not even as just a remake of the first one? Get five kit. Wait, hold on. Submarine starts to lean? Press enemies with melee weapons in this changing battlefield. What? Submarine final. Okay. So we're all stabbing each other to death on a submarine that's sinking? Damn, I wish I'd picked this earlier. <laughs> this is cool. I did like that last shot of everybody just like tadpoling around. Dab fight. Dude, I just remembered that Insomniac is making a Wolverine game. How cool is that? What if Insomniac basically gets to like make Marvel character action games? 
Okay, move out! Knife kill. The floor is shaking. Watch out for impact. Oh, we got tilties. Why isn't the enemy team moving at all? I wonder if those sparks hurt. Let me see if I can find out. No, nah, I think they're just there for flavor. Uh oh. Oh no, all the bodies are starting to flip flop. Ah. Ah. <laughs> this is such a cool map. Got me. Knife kill. Reminds me of GTA Online. But... Oh, oh wow! Bodies keep flopping down. <laughs> oh no! is so good. The water is rising up. All move upward. Oh. Oh no. Ooh. Ah. Change your knife to any other melee weapon and use heavier alternate attacks to one-hit enemies. Oh! I didn't know that other melee weapons had different mechanics. So once you fall down here, you're basically hoping that somebody else falls down here to kill you so that you can respawn higher up. Pure quiet outside of the stompy stomps is a beautiful symphony. Yeah. I love goof modes. Oh! Oh, they're coming. Oh! Man down, man down. Huh. They're all down there, huh? Oh! You didn't even know. Ah! Double kill. Wait, how did the bodies drop once they're in the water? The helmet's popping off. I kind of love it. Oh, man. Knife kill. Knife kill. 
Oh, headshot. I wonder if you can get their ankles down here. Oh. Dead Island, Dead Island 2 is out of purgatory? I did see that, yeah. I saw the, uh, the trailer. The Gamescom trailer. Does it have a release date? It does, right? Oh. Oh, wow. You right-click, is it a stab? Oh, yeah, look at that. But you think that's my one-shot? Oh, it wasn't a one-shot. 72, okay. It takes, like, three slashes or, or like, a stab and a slash. Ducking? What strats? Who strats? Ugh. Bloody or body stab plus a slash or a headshot stab. Definitely want to play that again. Okay. Hey, Tony. Tony C. How you doing? Oh, it should be a one-shot headshot. Okay. Used to do knife fights all the time. And the OG crossfire. Ah, okay. Dead Island 2 doesn't take place on an island, lol. Yeah, it's on... It's in Los Angeles, right? Capitalism Island. Everywhere is an island if you think about it. Yeah? Are we going to get more islands if the sea level goes up? Or less? Makes you think. What's the optimal sea level for maximum islands? on the planet Earth. Island DLC thanks to the global warming crunch time we're in right now. I'm trying to finish up that new content for Earth. A new map. A new expansion for Earth. Post sea level rise. Oh, Orphan Masher. Well, I thanked you for the Prime, but thank you for the Prime. This is a really cool map for knife stabbing, man. Any map that has people just flip flopping around, just sacks of meat smashing around like a, like one of those kid toys where all the little balls would bup, bup around. They bupped. All right, I know what I'm saying. Go, go, go! Oh! Man, that squiggly knife. That's a one shot. Maybe they're maybe they're headshotting me. The submarine is tipping. Stay on your feet. Oh, excuse me. I want to see everybody fall. Oh. Don't you dare. No. <laughs> Oh no, the timing! It's so good! Right. Yeah, 
Yeah, mess him up. I'd finesse that so good. spot right here. I get to see this these fights. The water is rising up. All move upward. What a swaggy maneuver. That was incredible. Oh, I keep forgetting that's a one shot. I keep thinking if I get the first hit then I can I get a free kill. I can just run in and take a hit. Nice. Create a hit to kill. It won't work that way. Ugh. Yeah, Marzar, this is like a, it's a special mode in Crossfire X. Currently sp sponsoring this gameplay. Booyah! Crossfire X, available for free to play on your Xbox console. Just got the Babylon update with many community requested features and with many new maps. New modes. Including the stabby mode. Kill. Never turn your back on an enemy. I just let him do it. I just saw it happen, and he just went. Knife went directly into my brain. I was like, "Well, that's that." It's on PC Game Pass. It's only on console, so it's only on Xbox One and the Xbox Series S and X. But it is available on Game Pass on those platforms. The game itself, and then also the. Uh, two campaigns. I think the two campaigns are on Game Pass. At least one of the campaigns is on Game Pass. And those are developed by the Immortal Remedy Entertainment. Oh! Mission fail. Blacklist win. If you'd like more information, you can use the Crossfire X command in chat. Oh, thank you, Gasoline. Yeah. And if you want to make me... If you want to make me seem like a real big shot to, uh, to the Crossfire executives, maybe tap on it. Give it a little tap, a little tracking tap. Ah, uh, Nomad had to do all the work. Eight and 15, I will get better at stabbing. Oh, maybe able to cloud stream it on PC? Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, that could be a solution. All right, I want to stab one more time. I need to hear that tippy tap. The tippy taps of all the little feats. Then we'll move on to uh, Death Stranding. Play some late night Death Stranding. I want to walk around. I want to deliver some suitcases. I want to shake a baby. I want to drink Monster Energy Drink. Oh, you can cloud stream it? Oh, okay. Yeah, then it is available on PC. Oh, man. Does that mean you can use mouse and keyboard? It may kind of, it may require. It may require controller. 
Are oh, you playing Death Stranding for the first time right now and really enjoying it? It's a good game. It's a really good game. I think it was like... I think it was just too weird, maybe, people to, uh, for it to click. I also feel like people weren't quite ready for a game that just wasn't all about shooting. Want to make grenades out of Norman's P? Yeah, there's that. A little piss grenade. Who doesn't want to do that? Free blood, free pee. It is a weird game, yeah. I uh, I forgot how difficult it is to get around before you have the exoskeletons. Although maybe I shouldn't shouldn't bring that up for the trying to avoid spoilers. Huh? Watched you play Death Stranding from two years ago when it came out on PC. Hearing your thoughts again from back when it was fresher was interesting. Huh? Why? What did I say? More of my thoughts. Maybe I'll have even more interesting thoughts. Seasoned, boiled thoughts now. Matured. Ah, it's getting late over here in Texas. Gonna migrate to the recliner and Xbox. Nice. Lots of fun with you in chat tonight. Till next time, and enjoy the rest of the night. Right on. Have a good night. Relax. Oh, it's time to stab. What is your 24 hour Death Stranding road rebuilding stream? Would Death, Stranding be a, Death Stranding would certainly certainly be a pleasant game to play for 24 hours, I think. Knife kill! Uh. I don't know if we get the viewers though. Oh! The floor is shaking! Watch out for impact! I gotta. I, feel, I always feel like with a 24 hour stream, it's gotta be something that has like max. max viewer interest. Give me the most time to stack up the most people watching. Yep. Oh. 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 oh yeah, the PC port of Death Stranding is surprisingly uh surprisingly good. Super playable. It is interesting though. Even though the, the graphical upgrade with the director's cut is pretty slight. Ow. Um you can kinda tell there's a rollback to the non-director's version. General sentiment was that it a game with a lot of intent. Did not finish delivering on all that intent. You still had no idea how Mad's character played into the story or why his beach is a war zone. I still don't. Um, talked about it a little bit with some other people. Exchanged some theories. Not sure if you ever got answers. I don't know that, that the game itself provides explicit answers to those things. Oh, do they have, like, spawn protection? That's good. Good for them. Knife kill. <laughs> uh, the answers are kind of implicit yeah yeah i i think a, a, f a fair amount of that game is like impressionistic intentionally so it is a game about reality sort of unwinding knife kill the, the boundaries between death and and life wearing through so it stands to reason that things get a little weird Oh, 
Oh yeah, doing every email and stuff. Knife kill. They just have a lot to say in that game, which I appreciate. Oh, nice. No! <laughs> ah. Delightful. Oops. Knife kill. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait until uh get to some new emails in this current playthrough of Death Stranding. I do remember reading a lot of the ones I've unlocked already. Nice. Got my ankles. <laughs> Almost worked. So much stabbing. So much grunting. Knife kill. Knife kill. Oh. Hey, Xenatrix. Love that. Too early. Oh. Uh. This is a gameplay you would expect from a mod, not in the base game. This is too entertaining to think this is just a standard mode. That's kind of this game's energy, though. Like, it's just a bunch of goof modes that kind of become their own game types if you play them enough and you start to learn the nuances and aspects of them. It's just a very classic uh, classic game sensibility. Just goofing. Just in a, in a lobby rolling matches and goofing. I just, it, it's big Friday Night Energy for me. This is kind of how I spent most of my high school doing this kind of thing. Watching TV. Stupid reruns of some sitcom. Getting my ass kicked in Counter-Strike over and over again. Mission success. There we go. That's what I call a success, yeah. Hey, you got the MVP! Nice! Keep shooting the ground again. Bang! Got to headshot the earth. Awesome. Well, that's Crossfire X. The uh, The update has been very kind to it. Plays really well. Controls are really tight. Uh, and yeah, like I said, the update. The Babylon update. It's got community-inspired features. Eight new maps in classic and modern multiplayer modes. A bunch of new weapons, quality of life improvements, bug fixes, control updates, and much more. Uh, and thank you, Crossfire, for sponsoring this portion of the stream. Or really the whole stream. Uh, if you'd like to know more, please use the Crossfire X command. Maybe give that link a little little click. Maybe download it onto your Xbox, maybe. Just maybe. That'll conclude the spor ah, Sporn Sword. Oh, I need, to, I need to eat something. That'll conclude the sponsored portion of the stream. I'm going to take a little food break. And then come back and uh, carry around some suitcases. I'll be back soon. Thank you all very much for watching. Appreciate it.